the craziest thing was that there were men all around him and no one said anything. One day I was walking along the street with some of my girlfriends. We were going to some of these cute little shops in this downtown part of the city. And as we were walking, there was a man who was sitting at a table outside of a restaurant. And he saw us and he started to cat call me. Hey, Red, Red, come on over here. Hey baby, you're looking good, come on over here. I was completely embarrassed because that's what happens if someone's yelling at you in public. I felt scared. I almost felt a sense of shame even though I had done nothing wrong. And I didn't know what to do, so I just ignored him. And my friends and I, we were appalled, so we just walked a little bit faster. And as we were walking, he didn't stop. He got louder. And then he started swearing at me for ignoring him. As bad as that was, the craziest thing was that there were men all around him and no one said anything. What happened to me that day on the sidewalk outside of those shops was an example of a toxic lack of masculinity. Our culture today is filled with men who don't understand what it is to be a man of virtue. And it's not surprising. You look in the media, you see examples of grown men behaving like children. They're stupid, they're incompetent, they're irresponsible. All they do is use women. That's the kind of thing that women are afraid of. That's the kind of thing that women in our culture are angry about. But that is not authentic masculinity. An authentic man is a man of virtue. He's a man who seeks excellence in everything that he does. He's a man who takes on responsibility, who is selfless in the way that he loves. A man like that isn't boring. He's not like every other guy out there. A man like that is attractive. It's bold. It's something that women are drawn to. It's the kind of man who chooses not to click on that advertisement that pops up on his computer when he's alone. It's a man who chooses to wake up early in the morning so he can pray. A man who selflessly performs an act of service and doesn't ask for attention when it goes unnoticed. It's a man who stands up for the dignity of women even when women aren't around. A man who honors his girlfriend by respecting the boundaries in their relationship. This toxic lack of masculinity is a tragedy. But an even greater tragedy would be to think that the solution is to get rid of masculinity altogether. The solution to this problem isn't for men to deny their masculinity, to become more feminine. The solution is for men to embrace their masculinity. Authentic masculinity is the answer. Women need men, just like men need women. Neither one of us is replaceable. We need each other. That day on the sidewalk, that man might have thought that he was big. He was loud, he was obnoxious, but in reality, he was acting like a coward. And the only solution to that problem is for authentic men to stand up and say, I refuse to allow this to continue. The really interesting thing was that my friends and I were actually on the way to meet some of our guy friends, some of the fellow missionaries of the Culture Project for a holy hour, for a time of prayer and adoration of our Lord in the Eucharist. We pulled into the chapel parking lot. I opened up the doors, still shaking from what had happened. And I saw my brothers, my brothers in Christ, on their knees in front of our Lord in the Eucharist, asking God for the strength to be good men. Authentic masculinity is what I saw that day with my brothers. Authentic masculinity is what I felt that day when I walked into that room and I knew that I was safe, that I was honored, that I was cherished. I knew that there were men in that room who would lay down their lives for me, not trying to get anything from me. That's the power of authentic masculinity and I believe that is the solution to the toxic lack that we see in our culture. We need real men to take action. Hey, hey Red. Hey, come here. Get the action. <laughs> hey, stop catcalling my sisters, you spineless squid. I don't know. <laughs>